Hi folks, how do we create a joint that will get that V-bearing to run properly along this track? Let's tackle that in today's Fusion Friday. So this one really stumped me and I had got some help from Curtis Chan. And I wanna show how Kurt showed us how to do this. I was trying to go to assemble joint and I couldn't get anywhere with it. And when Kurt showed me, it all came together. Right now we've got this component not locked down. I want it to run along that groove with those two points tangential. Here's the thing, the way we're gonna do it right now isn't actually totally what I want. And I think I figured out a better way. But to do it this way, basically if you've got it sketched in the correct place, in this case with the uh, bearing points tangential to the edges here, all you have to do is go to, oh, sorry, the as built joint and what are your components this one and this one slider it's weird it doesn't do it right now but if I just click oh I gotta click a reference this track still doesn't do anything I just click there for some reason that works click OK that gives me my slider which is awesome another cool little trick is you can so your revert, if I right click on the joint and edit joint limits, I can say minimum of here, maximum of 12. So it happens to be 12 inches is the length of that track. And it now won't let me go before pass. This is awesome, way better than doing what are called contact sets because contact sets uh, right here are super processor intensive. This is pretty easy. But here's the thing. That method doesn't work if your part is like up here, not in the right place. And a lot of times it's not in the right place. And I couldn't figure out um, a way to normally or naturally get it in place. So if that's all you wanted to see, have a good Friday. I'm going to show you guys how I think we can hack this and get it to work. I was pretty excited about this. So we've got our V-Groove bearing. Let's activate it. Let's hide our bar. P for project, and I'm gonna click on this face here. I wanna project the two slopes of the angle here. So click OK. I'm gonna hide my V groove by V bearing body. So now you can see I've got these points. And if you don't know where we're going, just sit back and enjoy. I think you'll think this will all click. L for line, turn that into a triangle. Now, I'm going to sketch a line down here. Actually, let me show you. I cheated um, by knowing that the width of that track right here is uh, 1 8 of an inch, or point one two five. That's important because now what I'm going to do is hit L for line, and I'm going to drag over oops, point one two five inch line. So I've got this little line. It's point one two five inch, and I need it to be properly placed in the V-bearing. So I'll click coincident that point right there to this line and then I'll click the point over here to that line now why isn't that black Ooh, that's weird oh because it's not awesome it's not horizontal vertical click horizontal vertical click my line now it's purple locked into place now I need a midpoint on it so I'll go to point I like to place midpoints out of place like that and then come to midpoint right here on your constraints. Click the point and click the line. Now I've got a point locked right in the middle of that track. So what we're going to do now is go to assemble joint origin. This is going to put one of those coins in there. I'll turn the body back on. And if I click that point, the problem is the coin is faced this way. I need the coin to be faced this way. And the only way I could figure out to do that is this little reorient. I need it to look the other way. So if I just start hovering over stuff here. Um, X-axis maybe. The X-axis would be what I would think it is. Uh, I'm actually going to hide the body. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Boom, uh, flip, so 
and in theory, yeah. So actually, the X is actually sort of backwards here, um, or the Z X's, sorry. But more importantly, I've got the Z point up, which I think is all I need here. So click, uh, I don't need to offset it any. Click OK. So now I've got that coin, which is what you use for joints. If you haven't used joints before, actually, there's a video right here. Watch that video so you can understand joints a little bit better. But that was the hard part. So let's go back to our component here, which is our rail. I'll turn off the V-bearing. I'm going to put a joint in here as well, or a joint origin rather. Assemble, joint origin, change it from simple to between two faces. Face, phase plane one is here, plane two is here, and the point will be right there. And if, you, if it makes sense to you, now I've got these two uh, coins, and I can use those to drive my slider. So now, um, regardless of, you know, this, let's say, let me capture this position just so you can see now that this thing is out of place for sure. If I go to, const I keep saying construct, assemble, joint, Slider's fine. What's component one? Well, it's going to be this little coin right there. Component two is the coin right here. Okay, so it's going in the wrong axis. It's going in the Z. So, boom, X. Click OK. Uh, yep. We did it. I was so excited. Thank you to Kurt. I love the as built joint, but it bothered me because. That's not how the world works. I hope that process gets a little bit better, but we did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Take care. See you next Friday. Yeah.